nagagalak tayo ngayong dakilang kapistahan ng ating mahal na patron, Santo Padre Pio, ngayong taong 2023. Masasaksihan po natin ang pagpasok ng ating hermana mayor ngayong taong ito mula sa barangay San Jose. Si Engineer Merlita A. Sanchez at ang kanyang pamilya. Palakpakan po natin sila. Muli palakpakan natin ang ating hermana mayor ngayong taong ito, si Engineer Merlita A. Sanchez mula sa Barangay San Jose dito sa Santo Tomas City, Batangas. Atin pong ihahanda ang ating mga sarili sa pagdiriwang ng banal na misa.
let you stay with me, Lord, because I'm weak. Stay with me. your mobile phones to silent mode as we begin the celebration of the Holy Mass. Please all stand and let us sing the entrance hymn.
in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen peace be with you and with your spirit please be seated for a while Before the death of Santo Padre Pio in 1968, Padre Pio was known throughout the world as a very holy man. Many ever called him a living saint, even before he was declared by Saint Pope John Paul a saint on February 28, 2002. Today we celebrate the 105th anniversary of Padre Pio's stigmatization that was 1918. A blessed today as we celebrate the 55th anniversary of Santo Padre Pio in his transitus to eternal life 1968. It is an honor to be visited by another cardinal to celebrate our fiesta mass in honor of Santo Padre Pio. You will recall that two months ago, I invited the Bishop of Malaysia, Bishop Sebastian Francis, to celebrate mass on the same day, 23rd of the month of June. After a month, Pope Francis announced the good news that Bishop Sebastian Francis was, is chosen to be the Prince of the Church, a new Cardinal. Expect for next year, I've invited the Bishop of Kuala Lumpur, the Bishop of Taiwan, and several bishops to celebrate Masses in this national shrine. A cardinal is a senior member of the clergy of the Catholic Church. Cardinals are created by the Pope alone and typically hold the title for life. From among the members of the College of Cardinals, the Catholic Church chooses who will be the Pope. A cardinal is one of the electors during the conclave. Our main celebrant and preacher was chosen by Pope Francis as Cardinal last August 27, 2022. Our celebrant Cardinal is known to me. For three weeks, we were together during the Asian gathering of bishops and cardinals at Bampuan, Bangkok, Thailand. It was during the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Federation of Asian Bishops Conferences that I invited His Eminence to join us in this Fiesta Mass in honor of St. Padre Pio. With his Episcopal motto, Good News to the Poor, I welcome the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Hyderabad, India, His Eminence, Anthony Pula. Palakpakan natin siya. Please all stand. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, 
to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest Saint Pius a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of his resurrection. 
Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt. For they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing, crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone. Then, that may rot my blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent, he brought them out, that he might kill them in mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down, Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servant, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you saw them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendant as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promise. I will make your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment. He had threatened to inflict His people. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. For by the grace given to me, I tell everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than one ought to think, but to think soberly, each according to the measure of faith that God has apportioned. For us in one body, we have many parts, and all the parts do not have the same function. So we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually parts of one another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them. If prophecy in proportion to the faith, if ministry in ministering, if one is a teacher in teaching, if one exhorts in exhortion, if one contributes in generosity, if one is over others with diligence, if one does acts of mercy with cheerfulness, let love be sincere, hate what is evil, hold on to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, anticipate one another in showing honor, do not grow slack in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, endure in affliction, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the Holy Ones. Exercise hospitality. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. According to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, 
his heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing and we will make a sign of the cross for the blessing of the Book of Gospels. Please be seated. His Grace, Gilbert Garcera, the Archb. I am really impressed that you call Archbishop Archb, no? Dear Father Oscar, Reverend Fathers, Sisters and my dear people of God. It indeed gives me immense joy to stand amidst you at the great national shrine of Saint Padre Pio. My sincere gratitude to His Grace Gilbert Garcera for his invitation, welcome and hospitality. Let me begin my reflection with a brief profile of Saint Padre Pio of Pietra del Sina. Padre Pio was born in Italy. He is a Catholic priest and mystic who lived in the 20th century. He is widely regarded as one of the most revered and beloved saints of Catholic Church. Padre Pio was born on May 25th, 1887 in Pietrelcina, Italy. As a, at a young age, he felt a strong calling to the priesthood. And he entered the Capuchin order in 1903. Padre Pio is perhaps best known for experiencing the Sigmata, the wounds of Christ, which first appeared on his body in 1918. These wounds remained with him for 50 years until his death in 1968. His stigmata attracted worldwide attention and scrutiny. Padre Pio had a profound ministry of hearing confessions and he spent long hours each day in the confessional. He was known for his compassion, patience, and ability to provide spiritual guidance. Numerous miracles and healings were attributed to Padre Pio during his lifetime. 
I am very happy to hear from the Archbishop Garcera that many healings have taken place here and there are huge queue to go for confessions. Many people claimed to have been miraculously cured of illness through his intercession. Padre Pio has a deep and fervent prayer life. He spent hours in prayer, often in solitude, and emphasized the importance of strong spiritual life. Despite the attention and fame that surrounded him, Padre Pio remained humble and simple in his style. He often referred to himself as a poor friar and rejected personal recognition. Padre Pio was canonized as a saint by Pope John Paul II on June 16, 2002, in recognition for his holiness and the impact of his life on the faithful. Padre Pio's life and teachings continue to inspire countless people to deepen their faith, seek holiness, and trust in God's providence. His emptiness on prayer and his emphasis on the prayer, humility, and selfless service resonates with many Christians. Padre Pio's life serves as a powerful testament to the transformative power of faith, prayer, and selfless service. His devotion to God, his compassion for others, and his mystical experiences have left a lasting impact on the Catholic Church and the world. Let us contemplate for a while on the readings of today. The readings that we have chosen for today's feast could be summed up in three I's. That is intercession, integration, and instruction. Intercession for conversion, integration of gifts, an instruction with uh, compassion. The first reading marks a significant episode in the biblical narrative where Moses intercedes on behalf of the Israelites before God. In this message, the Israelites have just made a golden calf to worship as an idol while Moses is on Mount Sinai receiving the Ten Commandments from God. This act of idolatry greatly angers God and he is prepared to punish the Israelites severely. The passage begins with God expressing his anger and disappointment at the Israelites for turning away from him so quickly. He describes their actions as corrupt and sinful, accusing them of stiff necks, which implies stubbornness and rebellion. God threatens to destroy the people and start over with Moses. Moses, upon hearing God's anger and intention to punish the people of Israelite, immediately intervenes on behalf of his people. He employs several arguments in his intercession. He reminds God of his promises to make the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob into a great nation, implying that destroying them would go against his covenant promises. Secondly, Moses appeals to God's reputation among the nations. He questions 
what the Egyptians and other nations will think if God destroys the Israelites. In response to Moses' intercession, God relents from his initial plan to destroy the Israelites. This demonstrates God's willingness to listen to the prayers of his chosen leader and to be merciful in the face of repentance and intercession. This passage highlights the concept of inter intercession, where a righteous individual, in this case Moses, pleads with God on behalf of others. It underscores the importance of prayer and the role of individuals as mediators between God and people. Padre Pio, like Moses, always interceded before God for his people so that God's heart is converted. God's conversion is made manifest in his mercy. Padre Pio now intercedes for us before God so that we convert, take a U-turn, and identify God who is merciful as our beloved Pope Francis always says. The second reading is taken from the last pages of the letter to the Romans. Paul provides guidance on Christians living and conduct of believers with the Christian community. This is divided into four sections. Number one, humility and self-understanding. The message here is that each member of the Christian community should recognize their unique gifts and talents while also understanding their limitations. Pride and arrogance should be replaced with humility and gratitude. Second, unity in diversity. Just as human body has many parts with different functions, so does the body of Christ, that is the church. Believers are seen as interconnected, interdependent. Each member has a unique role to play. All are essential for the proper functioning of the body. Third, spiritual gifts and service. These gifts are seen as divine endowments <coughs> given by the Holy Spirit for the edification and service of the church. The message is that these gifts should be used for the common good, promoting the welfare of the entire Christian community. The fourth, sincere love and virtues. Believers are encouraged to love one another genuinely, to be fervent in spirit, to serve the Lord with zeal, to be patient in affliction, and to practice hospitality. What is underlined in this reading is integration of gifts. Integration happens through reconciliation. When we reconcile with each other in communities, we are able to integrate our gifts and love for others. Padre Pio was a person who integrated his gifts with the community in order that the people may benefit from his presence. The Gospel reading provides insight into Jesus' ministry and his compassion for the people he encountered. In verse 35, we see a picture of Jesus, deep compassion for the crowds he encountered during his ministry. Jesus' statement that the harvest is plentiful refers to the readiness of many people to respond to the message of the kingdom and financial spiritual nourishment. Jesus tells his disciples to pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest 
to send out laborers into his harvest. In the gospel reading, the instruction of Jesus is rooted in compassion or empathy. Padre Pio was a person of compassion or empathy, for he showed primarily the seed of compassion at the confessional. In the light of the tagline for the synod, for a synodal church, we may say Moses as a person of communion re-established covenantal union with God and God's people. Paul invites his community, remembers to share their gifts, thus leading them to greater participation. Jesus' mission was replete with compassion. What are the lessons that we learn from this great saint, my dear brothers and sisters today? Number one, align your goal with God's purpose. Each of us has a goal in life, but we need to align it with God's purpose. Second, we may not have stigmata, five wounds, on our body, but our hearts and minds are often filled with wounds. The wounds remind us that God continues to love us. And finally, begin small. As individual, family, basic ecclesiastical, basic ecclesial community, parish, deanery, archdiocese, and society. May Saint Padre Pio continue to inspire us and intercede for us. May God bless you all and wish you all very happy. 55th anniversary of Padre Pio at this National Shrine. Amen. Please all stand. With all sincerity, let us turn to our caring Father, along with humility, let us reveal in prayer 
the necessary graces and blessings of our people. Let our response be, Lord, hear us. For the Mother Church, so that those chosen to lead it, the Holy Pope, all the bishops and priests, faithfully manage the Catholic Church and courageously guide the people to live the teachings of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For countries all over the world, so that God may give humanity leaders who devote themselves with all honesty. May they lead the people on the path that reigns in peace, prosperity, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For people lacking in all kinds of needs, orphans and widows, victims of war and calamity, and those in distant lands, so that God's eternal mercy and protection may be found in their suffering and sorrow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For all the clans in our community, so that there may be peace in our homes, and that the spirit of St. Padre Pio's love for the poor may be shared with our neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Merciful Father, may you hear our approach to you, and may your mercy be the channel of your graces that will bring us closer to you through Jesus Christ, the Lord, reigning with you and the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Please be seated. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Saint Pius, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Pius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we are claim. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ so Christ to say to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The second collection which will be done is for the continuing development of the Paris and National Shrine of Saint Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering. Dios con Oh, 
Please all stand. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Saint Pius, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Sa pagkakataon pong ito, minarapat ng ating mahal na arsobispo na magkaroon tayo ng bahagi ng liturhiya ng pagpapagaling. Dadasalin niya po ang panalangin ng pagpapagaling habang ang mga pari at ang mga obispo ay mananalangin sa ating lahat Itutuon namin ang aming mga kamay sa inyong lahat, ang lahat ng mga paring naririto. At pagkatapos po noon, tayo ay aawit ng Kam Holy Spirit habang binabasbasa naman kayo ng banal na tubig ng mga pari. Sa pagdaan po ng mga pari at ng banal na tubig, kayo ay mag-aantanda ng krus, tanda ng pagtanggap ng kagalingan mula sa banal na santatlo, ang totoong nagpapagaling sa pamamagitan ni Santo Padre Pio. Tayo pong lahat ay tatayo. May I request our priests to raise their hands towards the people for healing. Panalangin para sa pagpapagaling, prayer of healing. Panginoon, kayo po ang lumikha sa aming lahat. May karamdaman ngayon sa aming katawan, diwa at kaluluwa. Hinihiling po namin na kami yung pagalingin. Kami po'y panibaguhin ninyo. Pagalingin po ninyo ang aming katawan na kayo ang lumikha. Panariwain po ninyo ang aming kaluluwa na yung linika para walang hanggang pag-iral. Kayo po lamang ang lubusan nagpapanukumbalik ng aming kalusugan Dahil kayo po ang lumika sa amin at tagapagligtas ng aming buhay. Sa pamamagitan ni Santo Padre Pio, na pinagdiriwang namin sa araw itong kapistahan, pagalingin po ninyo ang aming karamdaman sa katawan, sa diwa at kaluluwa upang maialay namin ang aming buhay para sa iyo. Santo Padre Pio, Ipanalangin mo kami. Ngayon, aawitin ang Kam Holy Spirit habang ang mga pare ay siyang mababasbas ng holy water sa atin. At pag dumaan ang pare sa pagbabasbas ng holy water, we make the sign of the cross as our acceptance to the healing from the Holy Spirit and from the Blessed Trinity. Awitin ang natin ang Kam Holy Spirit.
Please be seated. Sa pagkakataon pong ito, gagawin natin ang pagpapasalamat sa ating ermana at ang pagsasali ng sagisag ng pagkaermana para sa susunod na taon. Tinatawagan natin dito sa unahan ang ating kasalukuyang ermana, ang ating kura paroko at ang ating mahal na arsobispo habang binabasa ang nilalaman ng pasasalamat. In appreciation for her dedication and devotion to St. Padre Pio and her wholehearted support to the success of the 2023 Fiesta Celebration, this Certificate of Recognition is hereby given to Engineer Merlita M. Sanchez, Hermana Mayor 2023, given at the National Shrine of St. Padre Pio, Barangay San Pedro, City of Santo Tomas, Batangas, this 23rd day of September in the year of our Lord 2023, signed Reverend Father Oscar L. Andal, Paris Priest and Rector, Most Reverend Gilbert A. Garcera, Doctor of Divinity, Archbishop of Lipa. Atin din pong igagawa ng Episcopal Blessing, the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Lipa, hereby bestows, confers, and imparts the requested Episcopal Blessing to Engineer Merlita M. Sanchez, invoking an abundance of divine graces in reminiscence of her role as Hermana Mayor for the 2023 celebration of the Feast of St. Padre Pio at the Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio, San Pedro, Santo Tomas, Batangas, given this 23rd day of September in the year of our Lord, 2023, signed Most Reverend Gilbert A. Garcera, Didi. Ngayon po ay tinatawagan natin sa unahan ang susunod nating ermana para sa pagsasalin ng sagisag ng pagkaermana. Sa ngalan ng Diyos at ang kanyang sambayanan, Aking isinasali ng aking tungkulin bilang Hermana Mayor ngayong taong 2023 sa karangalan ng ating mahal na patrong, Santo Padre Pio. Inahahabiling ko sa iyo sa ganap na may kababaang loob at dalisay na may kawang gawa ang, tuk ang tungkulin ito at maging mabuting halimbawa kanawa tulad ni Santo Padre Pio. Sa kanyang mga panalangin, pag sumikapan mo, ng makapamuhay ng may kabanalan at dangal. Amen. Pagtanggap ng pagkaermana sa ngalan ng Diyos at ng kanyang sabayanan, tinatanggap ko ang tungkulin bilang Hermano Mayor sa dadating na taong 2024 sa karangalan ng ating mahal na Pintakasi, Santo Padre Pio. Upang gampanan ang pananagutang kaugnay ng kapistahan sa pambansan dambana, nangangako akong sa asakatuparan ng may kababaang loob at dalisay na may kawang, kawang gawa ang tungkuling ito. 
Ipanalangin ninyo ako upang maging mabuting halimbawa katulad ng mahal na patron, Santo Padre Pio, at, magpa, at mapagsumikapang ko mamuhay ng may kabanalan at dangal. Amen. Pagpalain at basbasanawa ng dakilang Diyos ang inyong adhikain sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Muli po nating palakpakan ang ating kasalukuyang Ermana Mayor at ang pinagsalina ng pagiging Ermana Mayor sa susunod na taon. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga po, Father Oka. Okay pa po kayo? Okay na okay? In behalf of my brother priests and uh, NSPP parish and finance council officers and members and shrine ministry, allow me to express our deepest gratitude for your unwavering support in celebrating the feast day of Saint Padre Pio, a beloved saint who continues to inspire and touch the lives of millions of Filipino devotees here and abroad. Your presence and contributions during this commemoration were truly invaluable. Whether you took part in organizing events, attending Mass, spreading the word, or simply offering your prayers. Your dedication played a vital role in making this occasion a meaningful and memorable one. Endless gratitude to those who joined us and supported us during the nine-day novena up until now, in and out of the National Shrine, especially those who joined us through our different social media platforms. Salamat po sa mga sumuporta sa ating paghahanda sa kapistahang ito. Yung ginawa nating liturgical celebration sa ating mga servers and guest servers, katulad po ng iba't ibang koro, ang ating pong NSPP choir, ang ating Excola Glee Club, headed by Miss Leila Villostas. Maraming marami pong salamat. Salamat po sa suporta ng ating BLC coordinators at sa mga barangay captains and barangay leaders yung kanilang mga kasamahan. Sa ating pong ministry heads and organizations, most specially to our ministry on prayer and liturgy. Sa ating pong heart of Jesus and Mary, Padre Pio community, sa ating NSPP staff, sa ating pong familia and confraternity of St. Padre Pio, maraming salamat. Sa atin pong sponsors, donors, and benefactors, sa atin pong Hermana Mayores for 2024, 2025, and 2026, at maraming marami pong salamat sa ating Hermana Mayor for 2023, Engineer Merly Sanchez, at kasamang kanyang pamilya. Maraming marami pong salamat. Sa presensya po at suporta ng ating local government officials, for their continuous support. Kahapon pa lang po, nung uh, nag-announce ang uh, pamahalaan na merong nangyayaring smog dito sa probinsya because of Taal Volcano, ganun din po dahil sa na, naambang pagdiriwang ng Santo Padre Pio, ng Fisni Santo Padre Pio, nagpadala kaagad po ng mensahe si Mayor kung ano ang kanilang maitutulong para sa maayos na pagdiriwang. Mayor at sa inyong mga kasamahan, maraming marami pong salamat. Mayor Arjun Marasigan at kanyang kasamahan sa city government, 
sa sangguni ang panglungsod. Members sa atin pong kapulisan, sa atin pong TMD and men in uniform, maraming maraming pong salamat. Nakita ko po ang presensya ni Vice Governor Mark Libiste. Marami pong salamat. Hindi po natin pwedeng makalimutang pasalamatan ang mga pari na sumama at sumuporta sa ating pagdiriwang hanggang ngayon. To our religious uh, brother priests, brother priests in the Archdiocese of Lipa and Suffragan Diocese, maraming maraming pong salamat sa inyo. Palakpakan po natin sila. We cannot thank him enough for his untiring support and enthusiasm to spread the faith and devotion to our beloved saint. He made this event possible. A hand of applause to Archbishop Gilbert Garcera. Maraming marami pong salamat. After coming to the Philippines, he will just come back to his home country to pack his things and fly to Vatican Rome to attend Synod on Synodality. We are truly grateful that despite his hectic schedule, he accepted the invitation of Archbishop Gilbert to preside the Mass this morning. A big hand for His Eminence, Anthony Cardinal Pula, the Archbishop of Hyderabad, India. Thank you, thank you, Your Eminence. Saint Padre Pius' life was a testament to unwa unwavering faith, compassion, and devotion to God. He dedicated himself to serving others, offering spiritual guidance and understanding to those in need, and his legacy lives on through the countless lives he has touched. By joining us in commemorating his death anniversary, you have honored not just the memory of a remarkable individual, but also have become part of a larger community that cherishes his teachings and example. Your support has fostered a sense of togetherness and has strengthened our shared commitment to, a, to living a life of faith, hope, and love. We truly appreciate your generosity, passion, and unwavering support. Your contributions have made a significant difference and have helped create an atmosphere of reverence and joy as we honor the life and legacy of Saint Padre Pio. As we reflect on the profound impact of Saint Padre Pio has had on our lives, let us continue to carry his teachings in our hearts and spread his message of love, forgiveness, and service to others, especially those who are sick physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. May we be guided by His example and have the strength and courage to face life's challenges with unwavering faith and belief in God's grace. Once again, thank you for your invaluable support and participation. We are truly grateful for each and every one of you and the special place you hold in keeping St. Padre Pio's memory alive. Maraming marami pong salamat. At this juncture, we would like to request His Excellency to hand over our token of gratitude to His Eminence, Anthony Cardinal Pula. This is a replica of small saints. Uh, who are close to Padre Pio, including at the center, the, the, the cross, which is the life and spirituality of St. Padre Pio. Maraming maraming salamat. Para po sa ilang mga paalaala pagkatapos ng banal na misa, ang ating mga bisita, kayo po ay inaanyayahan. Naghanda po sa atin ang uh, ating mahal na hermana ngayong taong ito. Sa atin pong Divine Mercy, 
Sanctuary for Pilgrims sa atin pong mga bisitang naririto at ang ating di mga kaparian, ang ating Archbishop and His Eminence, tayo pong lahat ay inaaniyahan ng uh, Ermana po, po sa isang tanghalian at salosalo. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, the glory and joy of the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with an ending blessing. freed through their intercession from present ills and formed by the example of their holy way of life. May you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where holy church rejoices that our children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. May I request Archbishop Garcera to join with me, blessing the people. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Oh, in the peace of Christ, to God. are invited to join our Archbishops for the photo opportunity. May we request all the priests for the photo op. Thank you. Tawagan din po ang ating Hermana Mayor para po sa photo op. Maraming salamat po. Muli po, tinatawagan po ang ating Hermana Mayor sa taong ito at ang pinagsalina ng pagiging Hermana Mayor sa susunod na taon na makasama ng mga pari at mga ubispo para po sa picture taking. Maraming salamat po.
May we call on the confraternity of St. Padre Pio for a photo opportunity with the Cardinal and Archbishop and our priest. The confraternity, makikiusap po kami muna, urong po muna tayo sa iba. Urong po tayo na kaunti. Anika, paurong ng kaunti. Confraternity, papasukin ang confraternity. Wait lang. Okay. Confraternity, sige po, makisiksik po tayo ng kaunti. Makiki-adjust naman po kami ng kaunti sa iba. Asher, sa ating ibang bisita, pwede na sa, sa Divine Mercy. Okay, confraternity. Thank you. Last shot for our government officials. Kausap po ako. Archbi, isa lang po sa mga government officials. Pausap na po tayo sa confraternity. Sa gilid po tayo. Dito na po kayo dumaan para mas maluwag. Sa confraternity, dito na po tayo dumaan. Papunta ng Divine Mercy. So that we can give way to our government officials. Ito na po tayo sa bandang likod dumaan. Okay po, maraming salamat po sa ating Kura, kahit Tita Emi, 